Okay, so this is a follow-up to the repair video I did recently showing you how to replace the stock battery in an Anki Cosmo uh, with an upgraded lithium polymer battery. Um, we're going from 320 milliamp hour on the lithium ion in the device and we upgraded it to a 600 milliamp hour lithium polymer. And one of the questions I got in the last video was around the dimensions of the battery and what would be suitable, uh, how far we should push it in terms of the actual uh, compartment size that cavity that where the battery sits so I figured whilst I was repairing this device for someone I thought maybe I'll just get a few shots let people see the size and the dimensions of the actual battery compartment with the stock battery in it and maybe get an idea of how far they can uh, how far they can push it and what would be in a sensible size for lithium polymer replacement um, Currently what I've been doing is uh, I found a, a 600 milliamp hour battery online which I think fits the device perfectly and it gives around about 80 to 90 minutes playtime. It's a massive improvement and upgrade over the stock battery that's in the device. So I thought while I was here I'd break out the calipers and I'd just take some measurements for anyone who's interested. So we know for a fact that the maximum width is 32 millimeters uh, of the standard battery. And the height, which is an interesting one, the height of the compartment um, tapped out at just over seven millimeters. So that was something to, that sort of sparked my interest in uh, another avenue of exploration. But what's important here is the length of the compartment. Because of that IR sensor at the bottom there, um, the length you are limited to 40 mil max in terms of the length of the, the batteries that you can put in this device. So I've just got a little graphic here to show you this, the stock battery against the upgraded battery you can see that they're pretty much similar and that 600 million battery does actually fit in the device really well um, you can see here I've just confirmed some of the measurements as well and that IR sensor is what is hampering the length of the battery but the 7 mil depth made me wonder if there is actually a battery a comparable battery with a 7 mil depth available online so I went on eBay I typed in the search term the uh, the reference there you can see and lo and behold there is actually an 850 milliamp hour battery which would seem to fit this robot perfectly so you know potentially some crazy run times here i'm going to be making a new video when that arrives so please stay tuned thank you for your time i'll speak to you again soon